Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, let's dive into the fascinating world of optical illusions, specifically the Pepper's Ghost Effect. I'm Hannah with Two Way Mirrors, and I'm so excited to share this famous illusion with you. Pepper's Ghost is a classic theatrical illusion that employs optical principles to seamlessly make objects or figures appear, disappear, or transform on stage or within an exhibit. The effect relies on the reflection and transmission of light through dielectric beams filter glass. Hey Hannah, great idea! Pepper's Ghost is a classic illusion that has been used in theaters and attractions for over a century. Oh, hey Hannah! Are you reading your script off a piece of paper? Um, yeah, why? Do you have a better way? Yeah, I do. Here, try out our presidential teleprompter. Wow. Some examples of Pepper's Ghost illusions include Disney's Haunted Mansion, theater productions, museum exhibits, concerts, television and film studios, educational demonstrations, and much more. People also love making their own Pepper's Ghost illusions for Halloween decorations. Wow, that was so much easier. Happy to help. Did you know that our presidential teleprompter glass is actually the same glass used to create these Pepper's Ghost illusions? I did. The dielectric beam sort glass has an optical coating on it that removes the double reflection, which creates a clear image. For teleprompting, it allows you to read the text without the double image. And for illusions, such as the Pepper's Ghost illusion, it gives you a better picture and reflection. It's a brilliant demonstration of how light and reflection can create compelling visual effects. So, how does the Pepper's Ghost illusion actually work? The basic component of the illusion is the dielectric beam filter glass, a main stage area, a secret room or compartment, the audience's viewing area, and controlled lighting. Let's start with the glass. The dielectric beam slitter glass needs to be set up at a 45 degree angle between the audience and the stage. The glass performs a dual function. It acts as a transparent window through which the audience can view the main stage and simultaneously serves as a mirror that reflects the image from the hidden compartment. Positioning the glass at a 45 degree angle is important because it aligns the reflected images so that they appear at the same distance from the audience as the actual objects on stage. This setup makes the reflected image seem to occupy the same physical space as the main stage, enhancing the illusion's effectiveness. This is where lighting becomes crucial as well. You have to apply lighting to the object in the hidden compartment to illuminate it enough to be able to reflect off the glass. However, in my demonstration, I'm using an iPad that already has lighting. But if you were to use a plain object, you would have to add a spotlight or another type of lighting option to be able to illuminate the object. Here's how to use the illusion. When the hidden compartment is kept dark and the main stage is illuminated, the audience sees only the main stage through the transparent glass. When the hidden compartment is lit and the main stage lighting is dimmed, the image from the hidden compartment reflects off the glass towards the audience. By carefully balancing the lighting between both areas, the audience can see the main stage and the reflected image, creating a ghostly or translucent effect. And there you have it, an explanation of how Pepper's Ghost Solutions work. In my example, you can also place the glass at a 45 degree angle between the floor and the ceiling. This is used when stages have a hidden compartment either underneath or in front of the stage. We put our projection, I mean, um, me, on the top, but usually it's placed on the floor. Either way works. Exactly. I'm also a Pepper's Ghost illusion with the projection on the bottom. However, since all of my sides are made from the dielectric beam splitter glass, you can see the projection from all four sides. And I'm not an illusion. 
I'm just standing in front of our green screen. It's actually blue, but you get the point. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more fun glass and illusion projects. Are you interested in building your own? Go to twowaymirrors.com for all your glass projects. And don't forget to tell me about your favorite mirror illusions or Pepper's Ghost illusions in the comments below. We're Hannah with Two Way Mirrors and we'll be seeing you in our next video.